Dear students, hello and welcome to my class. This is Laban Sharkar. I think you all are fine by the grace of Almighty Allah. I am also fine. Dear students, today I am going to conduct the first class on chapter 12 from your Bangladesh and Global Studies book. And I think in the world, the name of the chapter is the economic indicators and the nature of the economy of Bangladesh. Dear students, before the start of our today's class, I would like to show some pictures. So this is the first picture. So I think in the world, this, tech, uh, this technology and the name of this technology is thermometer and we use this technology to know the temperature of human body, okay? So this is the second picture. I think in the world, uh, the name of this technology and uh, uh, basically this is, uh, this is uh, the diabetic monitoring machines and by, and by which we can know the diabetic level of the human body. And this is the first picture here, we, we can see some abbreviations of some words. Dear students, can you tell me something about these abbreviations? Dear students, basically these are called the economic indicators. Dear students, we have come in the main point of our today's class. Basically, today I am going to take this class on economic indicators. So before the start of the main part of our today's class, I would like to show our today's learning outcome. After the class, you will be able to define the economic indicator, then you will be able to describe the GNP of a country, then you will be able to describe the GDP of a country, and at last, you will be able to describe the per capita income of a country. So, dear students, let's get started of our tourist class. At first, I am going to discuss about the economic indicator. So what is called economic indicator? Basically economic indicator is the way to know the real economic condition of a country. Again I am going to tell you the definition of economic indicator. Basically economic indicator is the way to know the real economic condition of a country. Now I am going to show the definition of economic indicator on screen. This is the definition. The economic indicators means a way to judge the real economic condition of a country. For example, we can say GNP or gross national product, GDP or gross domestic product, PCI or uh, per capita income, etc. are called the economic indicators because by which we can know the real economic condition of a country. So dear students, at first I am going to discuss about uh, GNP. So at first you have to remember GNP is one of the economic indicators by which we can know the economic condition of a country. So what is called GNP? Basically GNP is, uh, is the monetary value of all goods and services pro produced by the native people living inside and outside of the country, especially in a year. Again, I am going to tell the definition of GNP. GNP is the monetary value of all goods and services produced by the native people living inside and outside of the country, especially in a year. Okay, so now I am going to show the definition of GNP on screen. So this is the definition. The monetary value of, uh, of the amount of material and immaterial goods and services produced in a particular period generally in one year by the native people living inside and outside of the country is called gross national product of that country. So this is the definition of GNP and this definition is a highly pragmatic definition of GNP. So dear students, uh, to understand GNP you have to remember two things. In terms of GNP, the income of the native people uh, who leave other countries will be counted, okay? Uh, uh, and uh, on the other hand, uh, in terms of GNP, the income of the foreigners who live in our country will be subtracted. These two things you have to remember when you write down about, about GNP of a country. So that's all about GNP. So dear students, basically there are three ways to find out the gross national product. First way is taking the produce, goods and services into account. Next way is taking the earned income of the factors of production into account. And last way to find out GNP of a country is taking the total expenditure of the society into account. 
So dear students, now I am going to discuss about all of these three ways to find out the GMP of a country. At first, I am going to discuss about the first way to find out the GNP of a country that is taking the produce, goods and services into account. So, in, in, in this way, to find out the GNP, we have to count all of the ultimate goods and services, uh, services produced by the native people living inside and outside of the country, especially in a year. Okay, so now I am going to show some lines regarding this way to find out the GNP of a country. So these are the lines. In this process, the price of all the ultimate goods and the monetary value of the services of the people will be counted to measure the GNP. Dear students, for your better understand, now I am going to uh, show you two pictures. So this is the first picture and here we can see uh, different types of ultimate goods uh, in terms of uh, in terms, uh, 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 in terms of tracking the produce goods and services into account, uh, we have to count uh, the pr price of all ultimate goods of the country, especially in a year. Then, this is the picture, and here we can see people from different professions. And then we have to count uh, all of the salaries, all of the wises from uh, from the different uh, different professionals then we will get the gnp of a country so that's all about the first way to find out the gnp of a country so dear students now i am going to uh, uh, now i am going to discuss about the second way to find out the gnp of a country in basically uh, basically in this way we have to we have to account uh, uh, the income of, of, of all of the four factors of production and I think in the world basically there are four factors of production so like land, labor, capital and organization. If we count the income uh, uh, from all of the four factors of production then we will get the GNP of a country. Okay. So here we can see some of the uh, lines uh, regarding this way to find out the GNP. Now I am going to read out these lines. If we sum up the total income of the factors of production, we will get the GNP of a country. We know there are four factors of production such as land, labor, capital, and organization. So the GNP is summation of the rents from land, wages from services, interest from capital, and profit from organization. So dear students, for your better understand, now I am going to show you four pictures of four uh, factors of production. So this is the first picture, this is the pictures of a land, so at first we have to count all of the revenues from a land, then this is the picture, here we can see a worker is working, and then we have to count all of the wages, all of the salaries from the people of a country, and this is the third picture, and here we can see a dollar, so then we have to count uh, the interest uh, interest for uh, interest from the capital uh, invested by the native people living inside and outside of the country and this is the this is the last picture and here we can see uh, uh, the organizer is talking uh, with his uh, colleagues or staff okay stuff so we have to count all of the profit uh, from uh, from all of the organi organizations okay uh, of a country. So then we will get the GNP of a country. So that's all about the second way to find out the GNP of a country. So dear students, now I'm going to discuss about the third uh, way to find out the GNP of a country that is taking the total expenditure of the society into account. Dear students, this way to find out the GNP is totally different uh, from the previous two ones. Okay, in this process, uh, uh, we have to count all of the expenditures uh, of the country, especially in a year. Okay, so this is the line. By totaling all types of expenditures of the country in a specific time, especially in a year, we can measure the gross national product. Dear yes, students, for your better understand, now I am going to show you for, uh, some pictures. Okay, so this is the pictures and where we can, uh, where we can see some goods and services. So at first we have to count 
the expenditure for goods and service and then uh, this is a picture so of of uh, of a and uh, of a and uh, of an under constructed place okay and this is one of the government projects so we have to count all of the invest of uh, of government and this is the pictures of pran rfl factory then we have to count all of the invest of uh, of non government uh, organizations or non government institution and uh, this is the last picture here we can see and uh, under constructed uh, house so we have to count uh, uh, all of the invest from the common people then we will get the gnp of a country so that's dear yeah, student that's all about the third way to find out the gnp of a country so dear students now i am going to discuss about gdp okay so at first you have to understand gdp is one of the economic indicator curves by which we can know the real condition economic condition of a country okay so what is called gdp basically gdp is the monetary value of all goods and services produced uh, by both native and non native people of a country especially in a year again i am going to tell the definition of gdp gdp is the monetary value of all of all goods and services produ produced by both native and non native people of a country especially in a year now i am going to show the definition of gdp on screen so this is the definition the gross domestic product is a monetary measure of the value of all final goods and services produced by the both native and non native people of country in a period especially in a year okay so dear students uh, uh, in in terms of gdp uh, we have to remember two things uh, so in, uh, the first thing is uh, the income of the native people who live other countries who will not be counted on the other hand the income of the foreigners who live in our country will be counted so dear students you have to remember these two things when you will write down about gdp of a country so dear students that's all about gdp just now i am going to discuss about national income so what is called national income basically national income of a country um, means the income of the four factors of production uh, of a country okay so this is the definition of national income and this is the uh, this is the line the national income of any country in a year is the summation of the total of the revenue the wages the interest and the profit earned by the factors of production in that year for you better understand i am going to show you some pictures so at first we have to count all of the revenues from land then we have to count all of the wages uh, uh, wages and salaries uh, from the common people of a country then we have to count all of the all of the interest from the capital invested by the native people living inside and outside of the country and at last we have to count all of the profit uh, from from all of the organizers uh, of, of of a country then we will get the national income so that's all about national income dear students now i am going to show you uh, a formula to find out the gdp and gnp of a country so this is the formula so gnp equal to gdp plus x minus m so here x equal to the income of the native people residing abroad and m equal to the income of foreigners residing in the country so that is the formula to find out gdp and gnp dear students now i am going to discuss about per capita income or pci so what is called per capita income or pci basically per capita income is the average income of the uh, of the people of a country when uh, we will uh, divide uh, divide the gross national income by the uh, total population of a country we will get the per capita income of a country okay so this is the line about per capita income the per capita income is the average income of the citizens of any country in any specific period of time especially on year okay 
So to find our per capita income, okay, and uh, we have to uh, we have to cons consider two things. Uh, one thing is gross national income, and another thing is total population. That means if, if we divide uh, the uh, gross national income uh, by the total population, we will get the uh, per capita income. Dear students, now I am going to show the formula to find out per capita income of a country. So, this is the formula. The per capita income equal to gross national income divided by total population. If we express per capita income with the help of sign, we get y bar equal to y divided p. Here y bar equal to gross national income, p equal to total population. Uh, uh, sorry, uh, y equal to gross national income, v equal to total populations. Okay, and here we can see a, a, a mathematical problem regarding uh, regard, uh, regarding regarding find our uh, per capita income. That is, suppose in the middle of 2011, the population of Bangladesh is 14 crore, and at that time the gross national income is 7,000 crore US dollars. So the per capita income and in that period is for okay and you can use this way to find out the per capita income uh, income so, uh, that is uh, so the per capita income in that period equal to 7000 crore us dollar divided by 14 crore and the result will be 500 500 us dollars okay and thus you can solve uh, the uh, any mathematical or uh, mathematical problem uh, regarding uh, per capita income of a country. So, dear students, now I am going to start the new part of our today's class that uh, that is evaluation part. Here, I am going to ask you some questions, and you will try to uh, give the right answers of these questions. Though I will tell the right answers of this question. So, my first question is. What is called the economic indicator? Basically, economic indicator is the way to uh, to know the real economic condition of a country. So this is the perfect and very simple answer of this question. My second question is, what is GNP? So at first, you have to say GNP is one of the economic indicators by which we can know the economic condition of a country. So what is GNP? GNP is a uh, means the monetary value of, uh, of all goods and services produced by the native people living inside and outside of the country, especially in a year. So this is the answer of this question. Next question is, what is GDP? So here at first it will say GDP is one of the, one of the economic indicators by which we can know the economic condition of a country. So GDP means the monetary value of all, of all goods and services produced by the people, uh, both native and non-native, uh, especially in a year. So this is the answer of, uh, of this question. My next question is, what is per capita income? Basically, per capita income is the average income of the people of a country. If we divide the gross national income by the total population of a country, we will get the per capita income. My last question is, what is the formula to find out the GNP and GDP? The formula to find out the GNP and GDP is GNP equal to GDP plus X minus N. So that's all about the evaluation curve. Dear students, now I'm going to give, uh, give, home, uh, give homework to you. So this is the homework. Write all of the three ways to find out the GNP of a country. And this is your homework and you have to write down the answer answer of this question and you have to submit the answer of this question to your respective subject teacher after the open of your school the students if you want to watch my more video classes you have to subscribe my youtube channel and the name of my youtube channel is Lamon Jesus tutorial the students thank you very much for watching me with your kind fashion next time see you again till then Allah Hafiz